So back then, uh, yeah, 10 years old, I was a drummer, started, you know, my first band. And, um, you know, we back then we weren't really writing our own material. We were playing stuff that was popular on the radio. And this song came on the radio. And we assumed at that point, back in way, way back in 1973, where the hell, where the hell it was, that it was James Brown. It sounded like James Brown single. And uh, so we went, oh, we should play that song. So we went out and bought the record. It's called The Average White Band. We turned the record over and it was like, five white guys from Scotland? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Lo and behold, so I started playing this song called Pick Up the Pieces. Probably one of the most famous songs. To me, it's one of the greatest instrumental songs ever written. Lo and behold, by some twist of fate, I ended up joining this band for a long, long time. I was with this band for 13 years. I played this song all over the world many, many times with James Brown, with Earth, Wind and Fire, with Tower of Power, with you name it. Um, it was a great, great time in my life before Hall and & Oates. And uh, so now I'll do you this little live looping version. Now I don't play saxophone as one of the instruments I won't even go near because I'll break it. <laughs> But I'll play you my, my guitar instrumental version of a great AWB classic. This is called Pick Up the Pieces. Now, now this one is just going to take a second to build up, okay? Now, I try with this live looping thing to get into the songs pretty quickly, but this has got a lot of parts in it, so it's just going to take a minute. Is that all right? Yeah. got yeah. a couple more minutes? Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do. at the base to this. one more part because it's to me it's one of the best parts of the song
Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me tonight. so much fun. Thank